what's up guys? Heads up, there's gonna be some spoiler alerts, so if you're not caught up to the finale, stop watching right now. Of Game of Thrones. What, 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 what key are we in? This is chapter two of our Johnny Walker limited edition Game of Thrones White Walker blended scotch whiskey. As you know, the White Walkers are finished, which is why we need to finish this White Walker. In order to do so, we're gonna make all six cocktails provided by Johnny Walker on their website. These cocktails were created by bartender extraordinaire, Gabe Orta. We'll be able to tell you which ones we liked, which ones we didn't, which ones you should alter, which ones have unnecessary ingredients, and most importantly, which ones you should make for your Game of Thrones finale viewing party. Let's go. I think that's pretty good. Why is it called Army of the Dead when it's a coconut drink garnished with lemon and mint? That's like a very summery thing. I don't know. Make sure to give your mint a nice <laughs> smack. Re release some of those oils. Yeah, <laughs> I would smash this and this would be a really easy uh, finale day party. Set out a fucking two liter of uh, coconut soda, which we got at the Mexican market down the street. Some scotch, uh, yeah. Have a ball. That one I like a lot less. The coconut soda I think is far superior. I'm not gonna finish that one. I don't know how I'm gonna move on to the next. Ready? Mm -hmm. Scotch Negroni with the little pimento bitters. Only commercially available one I know of is made by Dale DeGroff. It is quite pricey. Couldn't find it at a local liquor store, so we threw an allspice berry in there. Pimento bitters are really allspice driven. I think that's damn delicious. I think it is too. I think the allspice is a really nice touch. Yeah, I feel like the scotch actually did bring like a bit of a smokiness. The Campari is so intensely flavored, so bitter, and even the vermouth is so intensely flavored. You know that that is scotch. You would never know in a million years that that was White Walker. A $40 bottle of scotch. It's a scotch Negroni, it's awesome. Use $20 scotch. Okay, let's make the next one. <laughs> what are your predictions for the finale? Yes. I don't even know. I've been reading a bunch of stuff and like, there's like a bunch of theories that Bran's gonna sit on the Iron Throne. a little disappointing because I was really stoked to use Welch's white grape juice. I was. It tastes like a melted, um, what are those, the popsicles that come in the long things oh, that cut yeah. the sides of your mouth? What freeze are those called? Like freeze pops, yeah. I was kind of stoked for this because I really like when people use shit ingredients to make a good cocktail. There are plenty of modern tiki bars that are showing that they're there are plenty of good uses for blue curacao. Right, exactly. And, you know, if you have an issue with the dye or whatever, you think Campari, that that's its natural color, it's fucking not. 
Okay. Let's try again. That's so stinker. So this is my brother's prediction. I can't take credit for this. I think that Bran warged that white horse. gets old. I think the Lafroid could probably be reduced. They call for lager bowling, which like up my ass. Not a chance. I don't know what the Johnny Walker does besides add alcohol. You can't really taste it. I don't know what it really brings to the cocktail. This is clearly like kind of a penicillin riff. Right. God, it smells so good. That black tea is the garnish tea is smart. Garnish. Let's see how it tastes. Hmm. Well, I did not think I'd like that. Oh, it's such a nice aromatic garnish. That egg white kind of shaves off the rough edges of the, the lemon's acidity. Even kind of tames the smokiness, to be honest. The more I drink it, I don't think the Laphroaig is out of balance as a drink. It's nice. I, I think this is a good one. This is definitely one of my favorites. Yeah. God, what does that remind me of? You know what this fucking tastes like? What it essentially is, is like an Arnold Palmer. Oh my god, it kind of... Oh my god! Yeah. You're right. It's like a boozy Arnold Palmer. So this, I think, was a really inspired drink. Did she lick it? No. I got the cinnamon syrup. Okay. Okay, that's a little better. Okay. That is much better. I think it's a touch sweet, and I was worried it would be, because it has not a lot of scotch. It has a pretty sweet rum in it, and it has a full half ounce of syrup. I think the cinnamon and the rosemary, like the uh, aromatics, aromatics mm -hmm. are really nice. I think um, it's like singed rosemary, it's a little tacky. I think smoking a glass is useless outside of uh, style points, which I guess I'm all about style points. It's time to quit while Truth be told, um, I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna say. Say it. No. Say it. No, I just don't, I don't think that that, that uh, Amaro that I used is a good replacement for Palo Santo bitters. Uh, the thing about this is you can become Caesar. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> and I think it's unfair because we really didn't make it too spec. I didn't use the Kappa either, which I don't think is worth the price. Did you just put that on your head and then put it back in the glass? Final assessment? Final assessment. Army of the Dead. Probably our best bet for a finale party. Probably what we'll actually be drinking. Coconut soda, not the easiest thing to find. You might have to go to your local Mexican market, but you should be visiting that place anyway. Hold the door. Best cocktail name, worst cocktail. Not really much going on. Don't really see the point in it. Maybe if we used a better soda, but I doubt it. Sword in the Darkness. This was delicious, but ultimately it was a Scotch Negroni. The allspice was a nice touch and maybe if we had actually used pimento bitters, it would have been slightly more complex. You're having a small to medium sized gathering. These would be worth making. Too many people in my house drinking a ton of Negronis. Not something I'm interested in. Night King Sour, definitely my least favorite. It just tasted very artificial. Don't make it, not worth it. Dragon Glass Old Fashioned. This one, I didn't love. I thought the specs were a little off. It was very sweet. Maybe if you change it to a quarter ounce of the smoked cinnamon syrup and a full two ounces of the scotch, this could be a decent drink. Beyond the Wall, this is by far our favorite. Somewhere between a penicillin and an Arnold Palmer. We didn't have a dry lavender soda, we used a homemade lavender tincture and topped it with soda. This is labor intensive, so making it for your Game of Thrones finale party might not be great if you have a lot of people over, but if you only have a few guests and you're trying to impress them, this is the way to go.
you could just play that so good it was illegal. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and consider heading over to RottenJournal.com to sign up for our email list. If you have predictions for the season finale, leave them below in the comments. To Gabe Orta, you're a legend in this industry. We're big fans of Broken Shaker. I know we kind of ragged on your drinks a little bit, but hey, we're in our kitchen. We didn't have all the proper ingredients. We did the best we could. Some of these cocktails were truly inspired, and we will be making them again in the future. Bye-bye.